Pomegranate Wine is the first collection of poems by longtime Fresno poet Paul Illusion. Of the poems in this book, Fresno State College Professor Emeritus of English Stanley Poss says, By themselves, these poems, set in the diners, libraries, farms, and woods of the San Joaquin and beyond, are ideal for shelter-in-place reading. And poet Sam Pereira comments, In this new collection, Paul Illusion speaks of a Fresno slowly disappearing, but cherished nevertheless. Here is Paul Illusion reading selections from Pomegranate Wine. To an ageless waitress. Your hair is a sail of hazelnuts and honeybees. When I lift you in the air and spin you around, the local ballet mistress shudders. But I, the aging poet, and you, the ageless waitress, are a fait accompli, a quarrelsome pair of dice. I drift into the wilderness of your galaxy. I move into your invisible room. When your eyes stare out like fireflies down the cave of flowers on the lake, when your heartbeats are hoof prints on the marble stairs of the open sea, and when your faint breath marks the dresser mirror, only then does the hawk fly through the attic window into the cold oven of dawn. Here on Library, Fresno County, 1965, July. Like a hotel lobby from gold country in the twilight of the 1840s, the Huron Branch Library sits on the edge of town, yet detached from the t town, <clears throat> like an isolated wedding chapel rejecting the desert, but embracing the newlyweds it belongs to. The lady librarian greets me warmly, drawing me into her workday daydream. There are no computers or copy machines, only a Mexican vase of actual flowers, oleander blossom, daisy, and cactus. The library card is paper, not plastic. It holds a metal band as the foot of a migrating bird would. My coworkers in the mel melon fields are not avid readers, so I can safely keep books under my butt while I plundle the furrows for fruit. But what novels are readable after one works 12 hours a day in 114 degree heat? Surrounded by books nobody checks out, and magazines a month late, and newspapers a day late, I guess it doesn't matter. After stepping into this one-story relic, this fan-blown waiting room, ghostly and godforsaken, where trains don't stop, where whistles don't blow, I'm damn sure I'll be writing forever. My Orkin Seance. The beehives reek of the foggy, salty tongue of the Mediterranean. Rows of capers ripe and damp ready to pick before dawn. Arcturus in the sky becomes an eagle in the clouds, and the wind beckons all to the cold. Pink petals float on blocks of ice, a cool light rising from the grasses. Wearing a necklace of hail, leaves swirl on the terraced rice fields. Rain beats down on the sea's orchards, bearing the sour skin of the apricot. Pomegranate wine. Your first days on the farm, you seemed lost without the big city around you. In the shadow of the watered loquat tree, wooden stairs led to a cellar of damp earth and bottled grape leaves. A decanter of pomegranate wine rests on the butane tank. Topless, 
you run through the dusty vineyard around sacks of raisins, full daylight moon over withered grape stumps and vines. Hours later, canary melon stars reflecting in the rippling canal. You swim naked in the swirling darkness, outracing the German shepherd and golden retriever who gave up the chase. You dry off under the walnut trees and take long drafts of the ice-chilled pomegranate wine, cursing mosquitoes who are uninvited, glaring at me with yellow-green eyes, the color of peeled pistachios. 